Entrepreneurship is not a, a, a career for people without passion. Passion is at the core of what entrepreneurship is all about. And so I think that the role of the Dingman Center is to take and transform uh, that passion into practice, to transform uh, these ideas into reality. Since 1986, the Dingman Center for Entrepreneurship, located at the University of Maryland, has been at the forefront of entrepreneurship education. As one of the first entrepreneurship centers in the country, we've been leading the way to help students, faculty, and regional entrepreneurs build and learn about the startup process. Hi, my name is John Dugan. I'm the founder of Guzex.com. Social Growth Technologies. College Media Group. MyFairJournal.com. Dominic Krapischetz, and I founded North Star Games in 2003 when I was a still student. The University of Maryland Entrepreneurship Invitational is one of the only business competitions of its kind around the world. It seeks to identify the most promising existing student businesses that have started at the University of Maryland and are growing and on their way to success. This is sponsored by Kevin Plank, founder and CEO of Under Armour, which is one of the great success stories that come out of Maryland in the last decade. We try to help these students refine their pitch so that they can actually eventually talk to venture capitalists or angel investors. Job growth comes from small businesses, so you know, teaching our students to go out and create their own opportunities is a huge advantage for them as they develop and grow in their professional careers. Just an exciting experience, you know, we feel really prepared and we're ready to go. Uh, now that the crowd's here, the camera's on, it's, uh, the juices are definitely flowing. So I'm obviously a little nervous right now, but it's good nerves. You know, that excited, good nerves. The judges, they're big name judges and we're, we're ready for them. What's the big vision? I get it, you want to create a brand, you've got a location that works in your market now. Where do you monetize this thing? Like, how do you make money? It's really hard to condense your whole business into a six minute speech. I'm nervous about every part of the presentation. Not that it's not good, but you want perfection. You know, we, we, this is what I do for a living, great company, but I want them to know that. We had Kevin Plank there, successful entrepreneur currently running Under Armour. We had Ed Snyder, currently a successful entrepreneur in Philadelphia in the sports business. And we had Steve Case, many would say one of the most transformative elements or transformative executives in the technology field in the last 30 to 60 years, standing on our a stage right here in, Co in College Park for the first time, talking about Dingman, talking about Cupid's Cup, talking about innovation and entrepreneurship. The winner of $15,000, congratulations to My Fridge Rental of $15,000. The Dingman Center for Entrepreneurship focuses on building companies with the student, faculty, and regional entrepreneurial community. Our featured program in the student community is Pitch Dingman, which is a weekly program to come and share your ideas and get feedback from successful entrepreneurs. The, the Pitch Dingman program at, at the Dingman Center is really where entrepreneurship begins. Um, it's a great chance for students who have small ideas, big ideas, to come in and bounce them off of somebody. And, Having students be able to come and talk about their ideas and building on those ideas, whether they turn into a big business or not, is still very exciting. And you just can see that entrepreneurial passion building um, when they talk about those ideas. The regional community engages the Dingman Center regularly through the Dingman Center Angels, which is the most active university angel investor network in the country. We review over 150 deals a year and seek to find the most promising opportunities to present to our angel investor community. I really believe that there is nowhere in, in really the whole mid-Atlantic region that has a concentration of honest to goodness, real, check writing, active angels uh, like we have here. We've been working with the Capital Access Network for several months. Uh, working with Alana Fine and others to review our pitch deck and prepare us for the experience of really talking to investors uh, and building investment support for our company. Uh, it's been an invaluable experience that we, we're really honored to have been able to participate in. The faculty community interacts with us in our monthly technology transfer committees where we review promising technology created and protected by the University of Maryland and identify commercialization opportunities. In, in the past four or five years, the Dingman Center has increased its support and, and interest in entrepreneurship research, which is you know, an academic effort among, with, with the faculty that is very important to us. And the research makes an impact on the, on the uh, university's 
reputation. So with the Tech Transfer GA in particular, it really uh, required me to, to reach out to other parts of campus, primarily at the engineering school. You get to interact with not only uh, other graduate students in engineering, but other professors and, and people who have uh, business ideas that they're looking for help to, you know, to get off the ground, which is exactly what the Tech Transfer Committee was designed to do. Dingman's influence doesn't stop at the boundaries of College Park. We've had a lot of success in the last few years taking the Dingman experience and partnering with uh, other institutions in nations like China and Israel to build programs that are sustainable and of great value to both our students, our faculty, and to our partners in those nations. So once a year we have a business plan competition in China where we send over Dingman students with business plans themselves to present. We have students from other MBA programs around the U.S. and entrepreneurs in China presenting business plans to a great set of uh, judges. Uh, the winner receives uh, both cash awards and lots of notoriety inside China. In Israel, we have formed a program with Technion and Dingman teamed together for students to judge the commercialization possibilities of new technologies developed in Israel. It's a great example of taking MBA students with Dingman and asking them to solve real world problems. Can this invention be turned into a company and deliver, deliver shareholder value? It's a 10 week program and so far it is a home run for both Technion, Dingman, Maryland and the students involved. My thoughts now that the eight week class is over is that it has truly been a global experience. From getting feedback from real VCs that are actually in the field at this time helped us just make our technologies and development of them be more realistic. And then getting feedback from our classmates was also a, a, a learning experience in the sense that they are from this place, we are from the US, but yet we get to see business from different angles, still be able to bring it together and have amazing projects. The Summer Israel program really gave me a leg up in my job search. It allowed me to demonstrate to employers new skills in product development, sales, and marketing. And in fact, I ended up pitching my project to several executives at GE and ultimately got my dream job with them as a result. So if you're 18 or 88, uh, if you're an undergraduate at University of Maryland, or if you're an MBA student, or a graduate student elsewhere in the university system, or even a local entrepreneur with a great idea, and you're looking for expertise, for advice, for funding, for board members, come to Dingman, because companies have started here, companies have succeeded here, companies have failed here, and all of those events can be very, very helpful to you as you try and grow your idea. In 1986, Dean Rudy Lamone had a vision for a world-class entrepreneurship center located at a top-tier research university. Together with Michael D. Dingman, they were able to make this vision a reality. The Dingman Center focuses on building companies from the back of the napkin to the first million dollars.